Shifting focus to Guatemala now, the anti-corruption campaign has worked for Social Democrat Bernardo Arevalo, the son of an ex-president swept to victory in the presidential election. And according to the National Election Body, Arevalo scored 59% of the votes. He said that the people of Guatemala have spoken and the proof are these results. Thank you very much. Thank you on behalf of the country because you, your energy, your enthusiasm, your confidence, your hope are giving a new life, are giving a new life to Guatemala. Thank you for not losing hope. Thank you for not giving in to the corrupt. Thousands of his supporters celebrated with rallies in squares in the capital and cities around the country. I have been supporting the movement for a while because I had faith that they were going to win. And now that they have won, I feel that we are finally going to have a change in Guatemala. Young people are finally going to have a voice because for years now, our voices were stolen and we are finally going to have better opportunities. But the journey was not an easy one for the newly elected president. Ahead of the vote, a top prosecutor tried to disqualify Arovalo's political party. Even the opinion polls were not in his favour. According to the World Bank, Guatemala has some of the worst poverty, malnutrition and child mortality rates in Latin America. Gang violence is another problem for the country, as the murder rate is one of the highest in the entire world.